Hey, how's it going everyone? Yes. I would you think I wasn't coming? Of course I'm going to be here. I'm here for you guys. Hey, it's uh, nutritional chef Michael at doctorinamission.com. How's it going today on this beautiful, beautiful day? I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And if it's not, hopefully I could bring some sunshine into your world. Well, thanks for joining me today on Reclaim Your Kitchen. And today we're here in my kitchen. So we're going to have some fun. I got some great stuff to talk to you about. Uh, but before we get go going, uh, disclaimer, hey, we're live, so who knows what could happen? Um, I don't know, live things happen when you're crazy, but I'm just putting it out there to let you know, yes, this is real, <laughs> okay? <laughs> hey, so, well, who am I? A little bit about me. Um, here at Doctor on a Mission, our team is my beautiful wife, Dr. Isabel. Uh, she's a GP and a functional medicine doctor. An amazing, amazing woman that really helps people get to the root cause of disease, help reverse, prevent, overcome chronic diseases, whatever might be going on in your life. Amazing, amazing person here at Doctor and Mission. And I'm the uh, culinary nutrition expert here at Doctor and Mission. So we team up to help you guys have a long, healthy, incredibly vibrant life. That's part of what we do. At Reclaim Your Kitchen, what's that all about? Well, about me, I mean, I went to the California Culinary Academy a few decades ago and became a professional chef, and that's what I did for 25 years. However, I can honestly say, um, yes, I could do all the eight mother sauces in the traditional European cooking. Uh, yes, I could do all the beurre blancs and the this is and that's and all the different sauces and the soups and the sautés and, and do all these amazing types of dishes from many different cultures. However, it wasn't based on nutrition. That's the best way I can put it. So that was me for 25 years. Now, the, the great part that happened was I had the privilege and the blessing of being the at-home dad for our two beautiful daughters. Shout out to you lovely girls. Okay, I won't mention names, but you're out there. I know you are. <laughs> but I had that opportunity to be at home with them and, and get to cook for them and for kids and babies and toddlers and the whole things. And of course, I took care of the other end too. You know what I mean? Uh -huh, I did it. I did it. Yes, I did. Anyway, so getting back to the story. So the really great thing was uh, with all that chefing background, I thought this was going to be easy. Well, what I discovered very quickly was the kids didn't really care. They didn't really care how good of a chef I was. They wanted, when they wanted food, they wanted it now. Does anybody relate? Does anybody want, they want food, they want it now. Okay, well, when they wanted food, they wanted it now. So it had to be quick. Uh, of course, shopping was for two and then it became four, so I needed to learn how to do it inexpensively because costs doubled. I don't know if anybody's noticed. If there's more of you, it costs more. Uh, and then the other thing was I realized, oh man, I'm, I'm responsible for their health. I'm responsible if I'm feeding them, I'm responsible for their nutrition. I'm responsible for their way they're gonna grow into their lives, their health and nutrition, as they grow. Now, I can honestly say at that point, I was not a healthy man. I was not healthy, it wasn't around healthy, I was a very stressful uh, position for 25 years, a lot of stress, a lot of many, many hours, late nights, early mornings. So this was a real awakening for me and I had to learn how to do inexpensive, healthy, quick food and so learning to do that for kids, well, I've had to learn how to do it for adults and for ourselves. So that's what I love doing here at Reclaim Your Kitchen because Reclaim Your Kitchen is about reclaiming your kitchen back from the food industry because what they've done over the last 80 years, they've taken this word convenience. And now convenience is the way we eat or, well, we don't and we don't teach that. But in generally in society, convenience is the way we eat. Has anybody ever come home hungry and just like, ah, what can I grab? What can I grab? Okay, well, the food industry has made it cans, sachets, packages. I mean, we can even get frozen veggies in bags that we can either boil or microwave or this is and that's. I mean, really, I'm, I am very sure that if we stop and think about it and use our common sense, we realize they're probably, the nutrition's really not there in those types of products, okay? We're not getting the right fuel. I mean, 
you know, I don't, I don't know where you are in the world, but if you put petrol or fuel, whatever you want to call it in your car, you probably put in something that's good. You probably don't pour water into your petrol tank. Why? Because yeah, it's a liquid, but it's not the right thing. It's not going to work. It's not healthy. Well, we don't want to be pouring the wrong stuff into us, okay? So today, what I'm going to be talking about, how to avoid the traps of the convenience food at home, okay? So what's that's all about? Well, here's what I suggest. Three main things. These are three main things you got to have ready in your refrigerator so when you get home, you are not trapped by this convenience thing, okay? So here we go. Number one, a bowl of greens. I mean, now, how, how tough can that be? It's, it's not. We just have to do a little shopping, get some fresh greens. Twice a week, I get fresh greens. These will last in the refrigerator for at least three days. Always, always have a bowl of greens in your fridge ready to go because that way you can very quickly make a salad and fill yourself up on the right stuff. Got to have your greens, big bowl, ready to go. Okay, the other one is... Uh, veggies. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of different mixes and you're going to see that I have everything in either a ceramic type bowl or I've got it in glass and preferably glass and we'll talk about that in a moment why. But this one is a very simple one. Um, this is just some tomato, cucumber, onion, some black olives, kind of a Greek salad type thing, not totally traditional but pretty close to it. And when you need it, you can just pull this out and put a little uh, lemon juice and olive oil on it, maybe some balsamic vinegar or white wine vinegar or something like that. And keep it really simple. You could uh, cut some fresh herbs in, drizzle over a little uh, oregano or oregano, whatever you might say. But just simple things like that in the fridge ready to go. The other thing with the veggies is I always keep Again, in a glass container in water. I almost dumped all the water out there trying to show you guys. But a bunch of veggies prepped and ready to go. I've got some cut carrots in here and I've got some steamed broccoli and cauliflower in here ready to go. Okay, I mean, basically the second item I'm talking about is veggies that are already chopped and, and cut up. Whatever you want to do, whether you need to steam them uh, or something ahead of time, but they're ready to go. Okay, so number two, one was the greens. Number two, veggies. And maybe it's even like a, a tossed veggie salad. Now, this isn't necessarily number three, but this is kind of like 2B. <laughs> if you want to be technical, this is 2B. Salad dressing. Okay, last week in Reclaim Your Kitchen, we did the Green Goddess salad dressing, which I've got right here. And you can make it maybe twice a week. Or really, for a week, this will stay easily in a glass container in the fridge. would probably stay for a couple weeks. Uh, but, you know, once a week you can make it. Uh, but I always have salad dressing ready to go. Because, again, here's the idea, guys. I don't want you to get caught out when you get home trying to grab some bottled stuff in that. Because I, I tell you, start reading labels. Because when you look at stuff and start reading the labels of what's in it, it's going to scare you. When you're making your own, you're going to realize, I know what's in there. I know it's healthy and I feel really fantastic. Your skin's going to look great. Your energy's going to be up. You're going to look and feel younger. And who doesn't want that? Yes. I mean, unless, unless you're 20 and you might not necessarily want to look and feel younger, but you want to be healthy, hopefully, you know. I wasn't at 20, but hey, you know what? I like, I'm teaching to be young at 20. Okay, so salad dressing, have that ready to go. Now, number three, what's number three? Well, number three, what you want to have ready is protein. You want to have protein ready, okay? And whatever that might be. Now, I'm going to show some salmon and chicken today, but you know, for you, you might be vegetarian, so maybe you've got beans that are already cooked ready to go. Uh, maybe it's tofu and tempeh whatever, uh, and, and have nuts and seeds ready to go. So whatever it is, if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, I also usually keep a couple uh, hard boiled eggs around. So, but have some protein ready to go, depending on again, what types of proteins you are eating with your lifestyle. But this one is some salmon that I just lightly sauteed off some salmon and some coconut oil with some onions, some beetroot, some garlic, a couple herbs, and that's just, it's all ready to go. 
This is poached chicken. What I do is just in some, um, some lightly seasoned water, you just get some water, you bring it up to a bowl, uh, boil, then turn it down. Uh, you might have some, um, some salt and pepper, some garlic, and a couple herbs in there, and just poach some chicken, whether it's dark or, or, or white. Uh, we get organic, free-range chicken. And just do that for about 15 minutes or so till it's done. You can save the broth then for using it for soups. It's like a stock. And, uh, but have that protein ready to go. So what I'm talking about is avoid the convenience trap by having three main things ready. Having your greens ready. Having your veggies, whether it's a, a veggie salad or if you got cut veggies and then having your protein ready to go because imagine how quickly you can put together different dishes. You wanna put stir fry together, bam, just heat up your pan with some sesame oil, coconut oil, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, and then throw your, put your vet and throw, yeah, put your veggies in there, you can throw them if you want, it's up to you, and just get those veggies going, and then you can serve those with uh, some salad on the side you got ready to go, uh, with the protein, whatever you like, but man, you can put things together in five, 10, 15 minutes tops when it's all ready to go, and this saves you from that convenience trap. Now, why do I have things in glass? Well, uh, I don't know if you've been hearing or listening, and again, I'm not gonna get into too much detail today, because you can just Google this stuff, and check it out, but BPA, you've probably heard a lot about it, uh, bisphenol A, which is an industrial grade, uh, what would you call it, an industrial grade chemical found in most plastics, almost all plastics. The problem with that is it breaks down. Um, it breaks down in heat, uh, it breaks down in water, it basically over time it'll break down and all those chemicals are gonna leach into guess what? into the food, and where does the food go? In us. So you might have this beautiful salad sitting in your, your plastic containers, and over time, your salad is gonna be industrially, chemically laced, which I can tell you now is not very good. It leads to a lot of toxicity in the body, and, and we now know that toxicities will lead to many different chronic diseases. Just stay away from it. Now you'll see containers now that come out saying they're BPA free. Well, that's not the whole way. Because again, I suggest you do some little more research in this, but they can be BPA free, but there's a whole bunch of BP, bisphenol chemicals that are like BPFs, BPGs, I don't know, there's a, there's a whole bunch. You can look them all up. But one of them's been eliminated but there's a bunch of other ones. So just because it's BPA free, it doesn't mean, it's, it's like saying, okay, there's eight different chemicals in those plastics, but this one's eliminated one. Well, you know what? That's not good enough. I highly suggest glass containers. You know what? Um, these are jars from like mustard, um, let's see, olives, different things that uh, I've used from time to time, usually olives, I like to get some olives, uh, but I save the jars and then use these for your salad dressings, but you can definitely get glass containers, they're out there, there's plenty of them, and I highly, highly suggest using those to get your, uh, your leftovers in and storing all these items we talked about today, okay? So, today was about avoiding the convenience trap, making sure you got some salads, you got your salad bowl. You got veggies, whether it's a veg, nice, easy veggie salad or, or cut up veggies. And you know, that, that'll stay in the fridge for five to seven days in water. And what you do is you just change out the water every two to three days, okay? Fantastic. And then having your proteins ready to go, could be some hard boiled eggs, could be salmon, chicken, whatever you do. It might, if you're vegetarian or vegan, having your beans, knee, uh, your beans ready, nuts, seeds, uh, tempeh, uh, tofu, whatever it is for you. But the key is when you're hungry and you're coming home, don't get caught in the convenience trap by just you know, tearing open bags and pouring stuff or heating up veggies in the microwave or opening up that can. You know, if you open up a can of 
Uh, I think it's like the pre-made spaghetti and meatballs or spaghetti and sauce stuff in the can. You know what? That stuff will stay in that can for like 10 years and not go bad. That kind of tells you something about uh, what's in there. Okay, because real food actually goes off and goes bad. How about that? <laughs> so anyway, that's me. It's been uh, culinary nutrition expert Michael here at DrNemission.com. Love sharing with you guys. Hey, by the way, if you want to get some fantastic, amazing tips on looking and staying younger, uh, feeling, uh, looking and feeling up to 15 years younger, we have an amazing download on Dr. In a Mission. You go to DrInemission.com. Look for the nine action steps for looking and feeling up to 15 years younger. I'll tell you what, this is very comprehensive. It's not just this two, three page thing, which doesn't really give you anything. These nine action steps, you, I would say you, a couple of them you might have heard of, but mostly you would not have heard of them. And there are going to be some many, many aha moments in there. Okay, so check it out. It's a gift for you guys. DrNemission.com, the nine action steps to look and feel up to 15 years younger in 30 days. So go for it. How, it's been great sharing with you guys. I always have fun here in the kitchen. We'll do something again next Friday noon, New Zealand time, whatever that is for you in the world. Um, and hopefully, maybe if you aren't here live, you catch it again some other time. I don't know, whenever you do. Okay, see you next week. Bye for now.